Hey guys, this is Trinity from GreyHatForms.com and I've made a new program called Cracker Jack. And what Cracker Jack does is it cracks MD5 hashes. Now what MD5 hashes are is a security feature that most databases um, incorporate. Not exactly MD5, but m most databases, if they're very if they're good databases at all, should incorporate some type of hashing the most common used is probably md5 um, it's not secure but most databases use them um, and this tool can crack md5 hashes so what you do is you sql inject a database you get their database um, their users emails passwords all that good stuff and the passwords are usually again in some type of hash usually md5 and you need to unhash that somehow you need to crack it somehow there are some websites online that allow you to do this but you could only crack a certain amount and you most likely have to enter a captcha and let's say you just crack 10,000 combos that's really hard to do you're gonna have to keep doing captchas it's a lot of manual work um, this program you enter user hashes in this format or email hashes or just hashes if you don't have a username or email for them just plain hashes and it'll crack them automatically no work no nothing no effort you just do it press crack it's all automatic so this is a really good tool so before I show you how the actual cracking uh, works I'm gonna show you about the toolbox feature over here and what the toolbox feature is is a little thing that I added because I've been SQL injecting some databases and I thought that this would be a good tool to include in here. So this is an example database right here. Um, and usually when you SQL inject uh, a database, I did this manually so it looks like this. You probably won't get it like this, but this could still be used for a number of things. So once you get a database um, that looks something like this or it doesn't, um, whatever you need to extract the usernames and passwords or username passwords email or any combination of those those are the main information that you need um, so and there's a bunch of other information here that you don't really need so what this does is it gets between two different strings now what this means is that the way that we actually get some information is we need to tell this program what it's going what two strings to use to get the information so this might sound kind of confusing but for example if we want this username or all the usernames what we're going to do is in the first box we're going to enter this part because all the rest of these have this part for the username Next, for the second box, we're going to put this part because all of the usernames have this part after the username. So I think you kind of get the drip. The, the, I think you kind of get it. Um, this is the first string. This is the second string. Get in between. This is what's in between. So it's going to give us the usernames. So to show you how this works, paste this here paste this here get and there we go we have all of the usernames and we can do this again for the passwords and the emails and so on and so forth so this is just a nif nifty little tool to have um, this could come useful so the main cracking part which is what you guys have been waiting for um, so I have two text boxes here and I'll show you what they're for in a second so this program can crack users and hashes in this format or emails and hashes in this format or even just hashes so user and hashes would be something like this just hashes would be something like this and you of course you could put emails here as well it doesn't really matter um, so I'm just gonna show you how this works I'm gonna put a combination of both which you could do you could put hashes and user hashes together and it'll crack them just the same so put this here click crack it's gonna say how many are left to check how many have checked um, 
and it's it's checking because some of these might not be in the database that I'm using so it might return um, something that says oh it was unable to crack but usually as you could see it's pretty successful with this um, it's checking like a million billion um, a million billion hashes to do this so more likely than not it's going to return the actual password so again the users it's going to list the users and once we get to none this is where we're using just the hashes it's going to say none when we export these it's actually not going to say none uh, once we export these it's going to say the username which in this example is hello colon and then the password instead of here where it's colon the hash the hash has been cracked so it's going to say uh, hello colon password and this is what this text box is for this is an example of the output hello password um, the name the password and if you just have the hashes which are th these ones with um, no username the output is just going to be the password instead be oh, it's not going to put none colon the password it's just going to put the password um, because you don't need the username none because you just don't need it so I hope you like Cracker Jack. Uh, it's a really good cracker. It's really fast. As you saw, it just checked 51 um, hashes in less than a couple seconds. So you could put your 10K combo in here. It'll crack it just fine. I hope you like this. I'm selling this for $5. It's not a big investment. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys later.